We just literally passed a decade since Man of Steel came out, and we're still talking about it. Obviously, it makes sense that we're talking about it as one of the stars of that film, specifically Michael Shannon himself, aka General Zod, recently made a triumphant-ish, citation needed on that one, return in The Flash. So now the actor talks about Zod's choices and why he feels that they were warranted. <laughs> Okay, let's be clear about this one. The General Zod that we get in Man of Steel is different than the one we got in the Donner films. We can all agree on that, right? That was intentional because, um, yeah, you had to modernize things and change things. Most people that I know did not complain about these changes. They just complained about the portrayal of Zod and sort of the, uh, I guess, mentality and literal, like, one note approach to everything that he was doing, which I think is a valid criticism. Well, recently, Michael Shannon was asked to talk a little bit more about his approach to playing General Zod, the changes, and some of the backlash that the character got. And he says, and he argues, that this General Zod fits because of the themes of the world, where the civilization was a decade ago, where we are now, and how it fits into those themes. Now, while he doesn't explicitly say it, I'm going to guess he's just echoing what Zack Snyder has said before, and that's that Man of Steel was Zack Snyder talking about 9-11. Now, once again, whether you see it as that, whether you think that that was smart or not, whether that works with you or not, that's all up to you. But he seems to be echoing that as well. And he says that the solution here and what they did with Zod, he truly believes is something that was very important to this particular narrative. And that's why a lot of people that like General Zod in the old portrayal don't like it here. And he says that he believes Zod in this is great because we get to see him throw down. We get to see him throw punches. And we get to see just how exactly he's going to approach tackling opposition on a new planet. And that anger and ultimately revenge and his mission drives him. So yeah, um, alright. I mean, sure. Who am I to say that his portrayal was bad? I didn't like everything about it, but I get what he's saying. And yeah, it was definitely uh, in contrast, a lot of contrast to what they did with the old version, which fine. You know, um, Stamp's version was something different. So it is what it is. Terrence Stamp put his stamp on it. And uh, we had Michael Shannon put his stamp on it. Let's hope that the next one is more of what everybody wants.